if you don't. Lou, what I want to know is, why is it every day I see you looking in that department store window? Well, Abbott, inside that beautiful department store window is four gorgeous-looking girls. And one of them this morning winked at me. Oh, those girls are nothing but dummies. Yeah, they ain't so dumb. Two of them was wearing mink coats. Two... <laughs> Listen, I, ha I have an appointment. I'll meet you at the house. Okay, hustle up. Too many. What do you mean by obstructing justice? I'm justice. Justice what? Just as good as you are. <laughs> what kept you? What did you do? Take the long way home? I took the wrong way home. I met Mike the cop. Uh, listen, I've got to get you a job. Yeah. I've got to use the telephone. I... Uh, loan me 50 cents, Lou. Habit, I would like to loan you 50 cents, but I can't do it. All I got is 40 cents. 40 cents? Yeah. Well, all right. Give me the 40 cents, and you owe me 10 cents. Right. All right? 
Wait a minute. What's the matter? How come I owe you 10 cents? What I ask you for? 50 cents. And what'd you give me? 40 cents. So you owe me 10 cents. How could I owe you 10 cents? Now, I, wait you know, a minute. I, now, listen. I think gonna... you owe that money I had in my pocket. I give you 40 cents. Are you with me again? No, I got to owe you 10 cents besides. I asked you for 50 cents. Well, all I had was 40 cents. And so I you owe me 10 cents. How could I owe you 10 no, cents? Take it easy. Take it easy. 40 cents and 10 cents is how much? That's, um, everybody knows it's, no, it's um, 50 cents. Oh, no, no. 25 and 25 is 50 cents. Uh, give me that. All right, here's your 40 cents. Give me back the dime you owe me. Okay, now we're even. Now uh, we're even. Okay. That's my own fault for asking you for a loan of uh, 50 cents. You tricked me too much into this. I shouldn't ask you for uh, 50 cents. How do you can I loan you 50 cents? Oh, all I got left now is 30 cents. Well, loan me the 30 cents and you owe me 20. Okay. Now, no arguments. Now, everything's all right. You owe me 20 cents. Hmm. Now, make it, uh, it's clear to you, am I right? How can I owe you 20 no, cents now? See, you shut First I owe you 10 cents, now I owe you 20 cents. I give you all the money I've got in the world. All right. I, I can't owe you that kind of money. Just wait a minute. Here's your 30 cents. Give me the 20 cents you owe me. Okay. There we are. Now, now we're all set. We're all set. We're all set. Now, what are you hollering about? I'm not... Uh, I can't. I don't understand this. You don't understand. It's kind of transaction. What do you mean? What's so? Don't you start to ask for 50 cents, and I give you 40 cents, I give you 30 cents. My friend, it's the last time I'll ever ask you for the loan of 50 cents. Ah, uh, but you got me on me. How can I loan you 50 cents? All I got left now is 10 cents. Is that all you got left? That's all I got left. Well, loan me that dime. No, I ain't got nothing. Now, wait a minute. Now, don't get excited. I don't understand these transactions. You're ruining you're... my calculation. You're ruining my finances. Uh, wait a minute. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. What did you have? I have 40 cents when I started. Just a minute. You want to take an IOU for the 40 cents? Is it good? Well, certainly it's good. Well, that's business. I mean, after well, all, you go to bank, you've got to do that. I do everything strictly business. Well, that's all right. I'll take IOU. You got, a, you got a pencil? Yeah, pencil. Give me a pencil. I'll put the IOU on my piggy bank. That's right. Now, here. I owe you 40 cents. There you are. Now, sign your name. Okay. Lewis Costa. There you are. Now, you see, everything is legal. Here, here, here. Did you boys do what I told you? No, I was just going to call up your brother. You were going to call up my brother. I told you to go to my brother's employment office around the corner. We know that. Wait a minute. We, owe, we understand we owe you some back rent, so I'll give you IOU. No, wait you a minute. Mr. Fields, I, I got to have some water. I'll call him up. We'll make Out of my way. <laughs> I'll call him up and we'll make sure the job is... Because I, I gotta have some more water! All I get from you is excuses and I won't stand for it! Out of my way! Come on, take your water and go. I, what's the matter with the kid there? I don't care. You get me, you get a job and get I me... I gotta have head. some more water! <laughs> what's the matter with you? don't care about But you get out of my way! Wait a minute, stinking from there! What's the matter, are you thirsty? I'm not thirsty! My roof is on fire! <laughs> You've got to get a job or I, I won't get my rent. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Field. I have to pay for all the things that are done around here. Hey, you know here. it's a little stuffy in here? Yeah, it's a stuffy. Why don't you feel warm? Yeah, when it's well, to it heat is off. a little warm, yeah. I don't know why it should be. The kid said his room was on yeah, fire, but yeah, I don't know. Well, that good reason for it to be warm. No, when you go out under my brother, you tell him I said, fire. Fire! fire! It's my fire! I'm going to get you a job. Oh, no, Abbott. No. What's, why, what's wrong? Uh, there's something wrong. Something wrong? Why, what, what are you, sick? No, uh, I eat well. Yeah? And I sleep well. So what? What's wrong? But I have no desire to work. That's enough. <laughs> now, we're going down to Fields uh, Employment Agency and get you a job. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Lou, this is Mr. Fields, our landlord's brother. Uh, he runs this employment agency. He's going to get a job for you. Mr. Costello, just fill out this application. Hmm? Right there. You are? Mm. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yes. <clears throat> uh, Louis Q. Cast Q. Costello? What does the Q stand for? Cucumbers. I see by this that you've had 16 jobs in the last six weeks. Young man, why can't you stay in one place? Just a gypsy in me. Uh, look, uh, will you let me do the talking? Mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Fields, this, this boy is a very willing worker. Excuse me. Pardon yes, me. Fields Employment Agency. Of course, we can send you one right away. Yes, I've got one here. Send it right over. Oh, Miss Yummy. Miss Yummy, this way, please. Miss Yummy, I want you to take this card, go to this address, and good luck to you on your new job. <clears throat> hey, uh, what's she gonna get? I just got her a job. She's a beauty operator at the new Rosebud Beauty Salon. See you, gentlemen, later. Where are you going? I just found out I need a facial. Well, yeah, come in. Well, just a minute. We've got a pretty good job. Here's another job that'll be all right for you. Wanted young man, neat appearance, sober, and of good habits to take rocket ship to the moon. Must be willing to travel. Well, let's get out of here. Will you keep quiet? Look around there, Mr. Fields. Just job. scrimmage through I've got plenty of job, but this year, I don't know. I don't know what he can do. I can do anything, but Let I don't want to go see. to the moon. Let me see. Let me... Oh, this is a very important government job. Yeah. A government job, that's the boy. Now, this job involves the distribution and controlling of billions and billions of dollars of the taxpayers' money. However, I'm not sure you can qualify for oh, that job. Yes, I can. Nevertheless, you can never tell what a man is like by his outside looks. Well, you want to look on the inside? Will you keep quiet? It sounds good. It's a good job. Mr. Costello, I'm a fair-minded man. I'm willing to submit you for this job of controlling and distributing billions and billions of dollars of the taxpayers' money if you can pass the aptitude test that's required by the U.S. government. The aptitude test. You willing to try? I'm apt to. Okay. Maybe. Aptitude, apt to. <laughs> hey, he'll try anything. Go ahead. What is this test? What's the matter? Do you see this very unusual looking object? Unusual? No. This is the test. You get one chance and one chance only. You understand? Now look, you've got to make this object, this little wheel, spin without touching it with your hands. Can you do it? <laughs> he did it! He did it! He did it! <laughs> all right, you're all set, boy. Listen, brother, will you please let's get out of here and get another job someplace? I mean, he, he don't know from no jobs in here. What do you mean he don't know? That's a big thing. <laughs> Stinky and I, we do that. Oh, important enough for you, huh? Maybe you'd like to take a job with Stinky in the circus or something. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, in a circus? In a circus? Yeah. Ah, yeah I'm gonna right. like to carry the water for the, for the elephant no, 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 and no, no, the, 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 those wait, big ones. Wait, wait, what have you got for him? Circus? Well, a very important job in the circus. They shoot you out of a cannon. How much you pay? Well, it pays three cents a mile in traveling expenses. <laughs> oh, forget that. I've got the job for you. Why, of course. I knew it. I'm hiring a demonstrator for a new soap product. Well, you see this soap product. It's wonderful. Here. Isn't that a beauty? Huh? What's, what's, what's so beautiful about that? What, what's it's so a big? piece of soap, but... Hey, feel how light that is. Ah, that's the secret of this soap. That, you, that's very light you soap. You thought it was heavy by looking at well, it. Well, yeah. What is the secret? Well, the secret of this thing is the soap is made hollow. 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 Sure, that's Why? The, no, Why? no waste. What, you mean that's hollow on the inside? That's right. What do you mean no waste? Well, when it's all worn down, there's no little pieces left to throw away. <laughs> What are we wasting time for? I don't know. I've where. got just a job for this what young man. It? Why didn't I think of it before? Well, that's what we're here for, Mr. Here it is. I can tell right here. A vacuum cleaner salesman. Hey, he's cut out for that kind of stuff. Here, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be simple. Now you got a job. Here it is. Now look, Mr. Fields, I want to tell you right now, I don't know anything about selling vacuum cleaners. Don't worry. Sit down. Sit down in that chair, Mr. Ricardo. Go ahead. Now I'll do this with Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, you'll be the salesman, and we will demonstrate for you. Remember, in selling vacuum cleaners, you deal directly with the woman of the house. Yes. Now, you're the salesman, and I'm Mrs. Brown. See? Now, you're coming to call on me. Gene, I'd go out with some pips, but this is the worst one yet. <laughs> All right, keep quiet. All, All right. right, now, you come in and you sell me the vacuum cleaner. All right. All right. Uh, good morning, Mrs. Brown. Good morning. Won't you come in, please? Thank please. you, kindly. I'm selling vacuum. Uh, oh, just what I've always needed. Mm-hmm. Um... The price of the... Oh, of course. I'm sure the price is very reasonable. Do sell me one. Won't you sell me one uh, before they're all gone? I simply must have, have one. Have it. Don't be a dope. 
Sell the guy the vacuum cleaner. It's a demonstrator. It's his own anyway. Sell it to him. I'll make a few bucks before you get out. Sell him the vacuum cleaner. Uh, before they're all gone, I've yeah, got yes, to have yes. one. Uh, the price of this. Oh, the is... price. It's worth three times as much, I'm sure. Why don't you sell it to the lady? And don't I'll pay you failed. right now, all in cash. There you are. Uh, and uh, thank you. Thank you so much for selling me this wonderful oh, vacuum cleaner. And before you go to your next customer, may I make you a cup of tea? All right. No, I don't care for tea. See? Do you see how easy, how easy it is? There's nothing to it. Oh. Give me this here. Here you are. Take it. Now. Here is yeah, all here is all the paraphernalia you need for the demonstration. And here. How do you work these things? Don't worry. Here's a little booklet. This booklet that tells you how to sell the little Samson vacuum here cleaner. Here. The finest and most powerful here. vacuum cleaner on the there. market. That's all this, the stuff. Wait a minute, this is easy. You plug that in. That's uh, right, right. Go ahead. Right, right, right now. That's it, that's socket. Go ahead. That's right, it tells you right here. Uh, we'll throw on, no, here, throw that switch there. That's it. Damn it, Val. Why did you bring me all the way out here just send the town for? You'll thank me for bringing you to this neighborhood. I will. Sure, this is a community of home-loving people. They'll buy anything for their home. Yeah? But you've got to remember your sales approach. Be courteous. And above all, put on that smile. That's it. Now go ahead in there. Try this house here. Okay. Put it on. Watch this. That a boy. She didn't appeal to me. She, she didn't appeal to you. You didn't appeal to her. I saw the whole thing. That's the wrong approach. You've got to stick to the instructions. Now, look. Now, listen to this. It says right here. The minute the lady of the house opens the door, quickly put your foot in the door. This will force her to keep it open until you can get in your introductory lines. Let me see that. It says right in the instructions. All I got to do is put my foot in the door. That's right. I'll take care of this one. I'll see you later. Go ahead. Did you put your foot in the door? I sure did put my foot in the door. I want my shoe. You want your shoe. <laughs> well, wait I, don't, I don't think that lady wants to buy any vacuum cleaners. Okay, wait a minute. We'll go to rule six. Here it is. Don't be discouraged. If you don't sell on your first attempt, just try the next house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me see that book. What's wrong? There it is. I want to see if it does anything about putting my head in there because I... No, no, no. Oh. no never mind your head. Come on, pick up that stuff. Look at my shoe on. You ready? Come on. Come on. Let's pick go. it up. You want me to do it? Look, bud. Wait, let's get back to the apartment, would you? Wait a minute. Don't get discouraged. I told you that. If you'll only stick to the rules, we'd be all right. At the last rule, sir, put your foot in the door. You see what happened? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's the one we've got to watch. If you have difficulty in gaining admittance to the home, follow these instructions carefully. First ring the bell, then duck out of sight. The lady of the house will open the door. Not seeing anyone at the door, she will step out onto the porch to find out who rang the bell. And now you sneak into the house and hook up your vacuum cleaner so that she will be ready for the demonstration when the lady re-enters the house. You get that now? That's a trick. That's the idea. I ring the doorbell. She opens up the door. She comes out on the porch. I duck inside. She can't find me. She goes down inside. Pick this up and you're all ready for the demonstration. <laughs> Watch me put it over on this kid. Go ahead, kid. <laughs> About. I was playing trick-or-treat. Trick-or-treat? Yeah, it's it. The door was open. Why didn't you go in? Was I supposed to go in? <laughs> Certainly I'm supposed to go in. Now get over there. Hurry up. All right. What's the matter with you? Now, 
Now get in there and do those dishes. Now I don't want to catch you flirting with any more peddlers. <laughs> Didn't work, did it? Uh, well, I've got other ideas. I know. Come on in, a lot of calls to make. Now, wait a minute, Abbott. No. What's the idea dragging me all the way out here in the country? Listen, we've tried every house in town. You're gonna sell one of those vacuums or I'm gonna know the reason why. You can... Hey, you see that farmhouse over there? Yeah. Get over there and sell one of those vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Go ahead. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, a traveling salesman. Yes, ma'am. Oh, excuse me. Wrong hand. Now, lady, you should be very glad that I'm here. I got something I want to talk to you about. Step right over here, would you mind? Now, this here thing over here is what you call a Samson vacuum cleaner. This oh, will well, clean lady, up the man, whole I'm room. Explain about a vacuum cleaner. Oh, oh, lady, please, you don't have to explain a vacuum cleaner to me because I got I'm, that's my job. Yes, but I want to explain about the vacuum. You see, there's something uh, I can't. Now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some dirt on your floor, and I'm going to show you how this little vacuum cleaner will pick it up. Now, excuse me, please, excuse me. Eat if you must. Eat. I'll be right back. Oh, no. Now I'm going to. Oh, dinner. Mmm, mm, vegetable soup with the alphabet in it. I love that alphabet soup. What's your best letter? Letter B. I will. Now, wait. Here's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to take all this here dirt and I am going to put it all over the young floor. Young man, young man, now, wait a minute. Can't you see what you're doing? Oh, quiet. You're ruining my life. Lady, breath. you're getting excited for nothing. With this Samson vacuum cleaner, I am going to go bring, 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 and clean it all up so it's perfectly white again. You don't believe that, do you? Are you sure? I am positive that I will clean it up with this vacuum cleaner. And if I don't, I will leave it. You will? I will eat every bit of it if I don't clean it up. Wait just a minute. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what are you doing with the sugar? This will pick that up, too. I'm making it just a little easier for you to eat. You see, um, we don't have any electricity in this house. <laughs> no electricity? No Start no. eating. What have you got there? Oh, I'm he, a vacuum cleaner salesman. He finally got a job as a vacuum cleaner salesman. And wonderful machines. Well, it just so happens I'm looking for a vacuum cleaner. Hillary, you're kidding. No. You need a vacuum? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, I'm like it in. Are you sure you need a vacuum? Yes. Hillary, I've got to show you this little implement. Sure. This is a wonderful thing here. Would you mind if I show it to you? I, I got to plug it in first. Would you, would, you, would you stick around, Hillary? Oh, of course, Lou. Don't get excited, Lou. Customer, a customer. Oh, don't go away. I know. Hillary's been trying away, all day Hillary. to sell don't these things. Look, Hillary. All you do is, you take this here, and you put a lot of stuff all over the floor, and this will clean up the floor, it'll clean up the drapes, sure. it'll clean up the Venetian blinds, it'll clean up the curtains, clean up your dress. Now wait, look, let me show you this, Henry. This is really a wonderful thing. Don't get excited. Look, look, look at all the implements in here, Henry. Just, just in case you want to spray your hair or something or paint on the side. Yeah, Hillary, okay, there's some everything. stuff down here. Watch. Well, Lewis, Lewis. Look, look, I'm going to put the soup down the floor like that. Wait, no, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Right, right. Hey, you see, Henry? All I do is step on a little button over there, like that. Oh, well, Hillary, you don't have to worry about that there, Stanley. I'm going to have to pick up in a minute because we got little gadgets in the little room. Now, you see this little gadget right over here, Hillary? This will pick the whole thing. i got to tell you something, Hillary. What? You're a lady, and you wash your hair about three or four times a week, do you not? Yes, I do. This is the vacuum cleaner for you because this is a little nozzle. I don't want to take it off. I want to show you this on how it works first. This is a hair dryer besides picking up everything else. How wonderful. This will dry your hair, Hillary. Oh. All you got to do is hold it up here and it dries your hair. You gotta throw this way. But first, you got to throw on the reverse switch. Yeah, yeah. Just oh. like this here.
certainly messed up Mr. Fields' place. That, that suited me. It suited you. Took me all this time to clean this up. Wait a minute. I've got another job for you. Pays $40 a week. You have another job for me? Mm -hmm. Pays $40 a $40 week? $40 a week. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. What? Right. I'll take $20 a week. Why 20 Because if I don't get the job, then I don't lose so much. Thank <laughs> you.